Dr. Johnny Anderton is joining me in studio to talk about a very exciting project that he's working on called Ikaya. Johnny, thank you for sitting down with me. It's great to, to be here and hopefully uh, explain a bit more about what I'm trying to do. Thanks. Great. Well, Ikaya sounds very interesting. Why don't you lay down the groundwork for us and tell us what it is? <coughs> well, essentially, we all know that there's a, a massive problem, not just in South Africa, but globally with, uh, with, with housing, with cities, with urbanization. Uh, something like three and a half billion people currently live in cities and it's estimated by 2050 there'll be uh, six billion. So we've got two and a half billion people to try and sort out in terms of, you know, better living conditions in the next, uh, including those currently living in bad living conditions. So it's, it's a case of trying to find ways of, of improving people's lives uh, and, and that's really what Akaya is, is aimed at doing. Yeah. All right, so you've designed um, a prototype. I know you have a graphic here that you can right. show us yep. of, yeah, sure. of your solution to the housing crisis. Right. Why right. don't you tell me what your solution is and maybe we can take a look at the Right, picture. sure. Well, in essence, uh, if you look in, in South Africa, the, the problem really is that uh, there's I, uh, people either living in shacks in dire conditions yeah. or the, the next sort of step up is a, is a three-bedroom RDP house, which is mm -hmm. you know, generally government funded. Um, the simple answer is that uh, there's nothing in between and the number of people ending up finally in RDP houses is, 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 is a very small one ultimately right. uh, in terms of the size of the problem. So fundamentally it was about saying how can we actually uh, provide an improvement in living circumstances where people are actually living. After all, in many cases, um, they've actually chosen to live there, not necessarily in those conditions, right. but because it's close to work or in a community of people they know. So uh, take, taking people out of that situation or, or expecting them to go and live somewhere else, as has happened in, in, in the past in South Africa, is not, uh, I don't think, a terribly wise uh, approach. Right. So. One then has to look at this scenario in an informal scenario and what problems are there. Um, obviously leaky, cold, shacks, uh, the huge, huge issue of, uh, of fires in informal yeah. settlements where people lose their lives, never mind just their possessions. Um, as I say, the, the conditions are often no sanitation um, and so on. So massive, massive issues. But, and and no, one of the big ones is no space. So how do we look at all of those uh, and, and say those need to be addressed, but also uh, the opportunity for people to actually earn an income right. um, and, and uh, also perhaps run, you know, operate small businesses. So all of those things, it's not just about housing and shelter that we're looking at, it's, it's about all of those things, including the economic or financial aspect of people's lives. So um, in answer to your question, <laughs> <laughs> um, essentially Ikaya is a, is a, is a low cost, easy to build, uh, fire resistant, flood resistant uh, structure. Uh, it's quick to build and it has, a, as we've designed it at the moment, very small footprint. One of the keys, and there are a number of key aspects to the design, but one of those is that um, we hope to be able to, to de develop it, or we, we think we have developed it in a way that it can be added to vertically. That immediately opens up huge possibilities, um, particularly in terms of people financing their own um, uh, living improvement. Okay. Yeah. So that's really vital. Yeah. All right. Well, before we get into the real nitty gritty of it, how did you come up with this idea? Well, it, it goes back a long way. How long have you got? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you look at my grey hair. Um, it, it goes back to probably in my teens, but then uh, actual reality, the reality uh, of what Claire and my wife and I did in, in, when I was uh, in my early 30s. Mm -hmm. We spent 10 years living on a sailboat. So we learned to live in a very small space. Uh, we learned to live uh, on with, with the resources we had to basically harness ourselves so mm -hmm. that rainwater, we had to create our own power through you know, solar and wind uh, generation. Um, and we had, to, so most of, importantly, we had to learn to live in a very small space. Mm -hmm. So that's actually what's informed uh, so much of what uh, Ikaya is all about. It's a small, compact space, but it's all about design. Yeah. Uh, pe people, including ourselves, we know that uh, one can live in a small space and you can live very comfortably and well. Mm. Uh, it's a question of, of how well that space is designed. So that's really what's informed my uh, thinking, uh, if you like, about uh, Ikai and how to approach this huge problem of, uh, of, of lack of housing.